Yo, what's up? This is Luther Loop Cameron. You're watching Vlad TV. The two live crew were arrested on obscenity charges, but you ultimately won the case. Uh, what was the most difficult thing when you were fighting uh, that case? Well, the most difficult uh, thing in fighting the uh, two live crew obscenity case was the fact that we were actually arrested for something like that here in the United States of America. But, you know, uh, as you all know, we have due process and uh, you have your day in court, you know, which, you know, uh, I just, you know, it, it annoyed me the fact that we would get arrested for something like that. Um, and the most difficult part of it was just, you know, just going through an unnecessary trial, you know, for the most. Uh, and we were happy, you know, I was happy that we won the case and, uh, and uh, the people, you know, came back with a verdict and said that this is, uh, you know, this is this is wrong. Uh, this case that the state brought up against us, and uh, it set precedent. So I, I was excited about that. Uh, you were sued by two live crew members uh, and MC Shy D. Uh, the judge awarded Shy D. 1.2 million dollars and said he was making an example out of you. Well, uh, the interesting thing about that case there. Uh, that was the case that started basically everything. Joe Weinberg at the current time was my uh, in-house attorney. Uh, he hired an attorney named Nick Manzini. He had to follow this timeline. Uh, Nick Manzini was representing me. Joe Weinberger later on at the time I found that he was uh, a classmate of Richard Wolf at the University of Miami. Him and Richard Wolf was uh, classmates. Uh, in my opinion they conspired to do this against my company. Later on, to find that, uh, and this is the, the case of MC, MC Shadi, uh, an individual who had never sold over 50,000 records. You can go check the record books right now today. If you go to the manufacturer, which it was a cut and dry case, you go to the manufacturer, uh, which is Caribbean Manufacturers here in South Florida, and you will find that he never sold over 50,000 records. He's, I, I've never manufactured over 50,000 records for this individual. So I'm thinking it's a cut and dry case. Uh, but if you have two, if you have my lawyer, my in-house lawyer working with the other lawyer, not providing my current lawyer the information as well as hiring a incompetent lawyer in uh, Nick Manzini in my opinion, because later on after I went bankruptcy, the trustees, which was Richard Wolf and Frank Terzo, as well as Joe Weinberger, ended up suing Nick Manzini for his incompetency in the case, winning a large sum of money for mismanaging, misrepresenting me. So it goes to show the conspiracy theory was not actually a theory, it was actually a fact.